but for some reason, I can't get into the thing. We have to talk about this because it is so good. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and there's really no like big theme this week or anything. Um, if there is sort of a feel to this week's favorites, maybe a little bit 90s, like I'm definitely 90s today. Um, but I did wear a couple of things this week that have a 90s kind of feel to me. So yeah, I've got some good things to share, so let's jump into it. On my eyes this week and on my face this week, I was loving my Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie 2 palette. I've really been trying this out because I'm gonna have a video for you guys up with like a tutorial and a review. So I've really been trying this a lot and really, really enjoying it. I'll have a lot more thoughts in that video. I'll compare it with the other Love Your Selfie, like the first edition one, and just kind of like share my thoughts of how they differ, which one I like more, quality, just all those kinds of things. But I really was enjoying this this week. Just a little bit of a spoiler. Um, I love this color Megapixel. It is such a pretty kind of like, I don't know, antique, dirty gold sort of a color. The green is really pretty. That one you have to be careful with because it will have quite a bit of fallout. Like a little bit goes a long way with that shadow. And I can't seem to remember that because I always get way too much, especially in a swatch. And then also Sketch is a beautiful kind of burgundy color. So like I said, I'll have a lot more um, information, swatches and all that in that video, but let me just give you a little quick, little quick preview. Yeah, Megapixel is like such a pretty color. It's like, is it a dirty gold? Is it a bronze? I don't know, but I like it, whatever it is. It's just really, really pretty. Today I'm kind of like wearing some different sort of colors, like the pinky, um, I do have the burgundy on, but like the pinkier colors, the taupier colors, but I do have something else on my lid I'm about to share with you. So these are definitely like the standouts for me. So pretty. And what I have on my lids today is this Jordana Liquid Shadow. I wore this several times this week. This is definitely my favorite one from this line. I think these are all great. I think they're super affordable and just really nice quality. Really, really pretty. But this is the one that I find myself reaching for the most by a long shot. So I would say if you're like trying to pick just one color, this would be my pick that I would recommend to you because it's so pretty. This is the Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in Not A Wink Pink. I really feel like it's less pink and more kind of just light, bright rose gold. Now it does have some micro shimmer, so just know that about it. Like there are some little glitters in it, especially kind of like as you wear it throughout the day, I kind of like see more of the glitter, but even on my eyes today, I can kind of see it there. I like the glitter. I think it's really pretty. But um, just know that, like, if you don't like glitter and things, this does have a little bit. So it's just a beautiful metallic shadow. So I either wear this under eyeshadows, kind of as a base. So usually what I do is I wear it under, use a shadow, and then I kind of tap it on at the end just for some added brightness. So that's what I did today. And it's just amazing. And I think these are like around $5.00. I found them on a special display when they first came out, but I haven't seen them in stores since then. So you might have to buy them on Jordana's website, but they're awesome. They're definitely worth checking out. For blush this week, I was kind of bouncing around a little bit. So I was wearing the things from the Love Your Selfie 2 palette. I did wear this one day and really thought it was beautiful. This is the Lorac Buildable Blush. This is a matte and this is in Tinge. And it's just a beautiful, really light kind of neutral peach color like when I was looking at these and trying to pick a color I thought whoa I don't know if that's even gonna work for me and I'm really fair because it's very light but it just ends up being this really light and I want to say glowy but it's not I mean it's a matte so it doesn't have that like I don't know doesn't have like a sheen to it but it has that sort of like sweet angelic look on your cheeks, you know what I mean? Because it's that kind of light, dusty sort of a peach color. It's beautiful. So pretty. These blend really well. They wear well. I like the very kind of like sleek, thin packaging. That's nice for storage and all those things. So it's just a really beautiful blush color. So I would definitely recommend all of these, but 
this week I enjoyed this color specifically. I got a couple things from Octoly this week. One thing I'm really enjoying, one thing I'm still kind of like deciding how I feel about it. I'm still forming my thoughts on it, so for that one I will share my thoughts so far and my experiences with it, but this I definitely know I like a lot. Now I am already holding it open because that's the thing I don't like about it is the packaging, but this is the Besame Blush in Sweet Pink 708. So this is what it looks like. So it's, let's start by talking about the packaging. So it's really cute to look at, like it's just kind of like a little disc sort of a thing and then you pop off the lid, but it doesn't have like a, a hinge or anything to make it easy to get into. So you just kind of have to like pop off the lid, but I find that really difficult to do. Now there is a mirror on the lid, so that's nice on the other side of the mirror. So it's cute to look at, but for some reason, I can't get into the thing. So I'm having to like use tweezers to get into it. So I really don't like the packaging, but I like the way the packaging looks. I don't like the functionality of the packaging, but the blush inside is so nice. I'm wearing this today and I've been loving this blush. Like every time I've worn it, I love it. Had a really pretty design. Did I already say this? I don't know, but I whittled down the design. So anyway, it's a beautiful, sweet baby pink, kind of like a Barbie pink sort of a color. So again, it's got that kind of like angelic look on the cheeks, but this is such a nice texture. Like it's buttery feeling, it's pigmented, it builds on itself really nicely. It kind of reminds me of the Balm blushes. Like, which one is the pink one? Is it Down Boy? I don't remember, but it has that sort of like buttery feel to it and that pigmentation without like dragging or sticking. Like it's a really easy to work with texture. So super impressed with the formula on it. I think it's a really nice formula. I love the sweet girly pink color. Love the look of the packaging, just don't like the functionality of it. So that's really the only negative I have to say about this. I've really, really been enjoying this blush. And then the thing that I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about it is this YSL Beauty Vinyl Cream Creamy Stain, and I have the color 407 Carmen Session. So I think I'm also getting some of these through Influencer. So at some point, I will definitely have like a really good idea of what I'm thinking about this. But I'm still kind of like deciding how I feel about what it is like the product, like do I like this product and what it does? Cause it definitely does what it's supposed to do, I think in my opinion, but I'm still deciding, do I like what it's doing? You know what I mean? Anyway, so I've tried their original stains and I wasn't a huge fan of those. Um, so I was interested to try these to see kind of like how these were in comparison. Now I don't have one of those anymore, so I'm kind of going off of memory of what those were like, but from memory, I like this more for sure because it's more creamy looking and I remember those being more sticky. This is definitely still tacky, but not as sticky or tacky as those from what I can remember. So it's kind of like a creamy sort of a look. It has a little bit of a shine to it, which is really pretty. I love the color of it. I think it's a really beautiful kind of like warm, rosy sort of a shade. So I think it'll be really beautiful for fall. Um, so I like all those things. Like it looks pretty on the lips. Um, it definitely wears a long time. I noticed when I was wearing it and not eating, it was really sticking around, which finding something that's kind of shiny and long wearing is hard to find. But when I ate, I noticed it pretty much went away. It does have a stain to it. So the stain would kind of stay, but it's not a super duper strong stain, at least not that I found, but sometimes I was eating pretty close to when I applied it. So that might've been it. So maybe like leaving it on your lips a little bit longer, it would stain a little bit better. So, but when I wasn't eating, it definitely stayed around. So that's pretty cool to find something that's shiny, kind of like a semi shiny sort of a look and long wearing. So that's neat, but I'm still deciding like, do I like a long wearing gloss? Like, is that something I really, like because I'm used to long wearing matte lip products. So it's a little bit out of like what I'm used to, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm still kind of deciding about. Is that something I'm going for? Am I okay with the tackiness sort of feeling? And I think overall, yes, I am because I feel like this is kind of hard to find. 
at least I haven't tried a lot. So I feel like it's a hard to find kind of product. I feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do. And yeah, but you know what I mean? I'm still kind of like deciding, like, is this really like what I love? I'm not really sure, but I feel like it does what it's supposed to do. Blah, 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 you get the idea. I randomly wore this lipstick this week and really loved it. Like it, it doesn't fit under the 90s umbrella at all, but it's not like I pick a theme at the beginning of the week and say, I'm gonna do 90s this week. I just grab my favorites and a lot of times I end up like seeing a pattern in what I was loving. So anyway, this does not fit the kind of random pattern that developed. This doesn't fall under that umbrella, but I really like it. It's one of the, the only one lipstick, the only one lipstick from Rimmel. This is 120 You're All Mine. And it's just a really pretty pink. Like it's a beautiful pink and it's a pretty bright pink, but it's just sweet and fun and girly. And it goes really well with this blush. The day that I wore this, I was wearing this blush and it just, is super girly, which I love girly makeup. So if you love girly makeup too, then I think you'd really love this color. I think these are really nice lipsticks. They're creamy, they're comfortable, they have a little bit of a shine to them, and they're long wearing. Well, at least that's what I've found. Every time I wear these, they stick around on my lips. They're comfortable to wear. They're affordable. They do have a very sweet smell, so know that about them. If you're sensitive to scents, this has a really strong, sweet smell. I like the smell of it, but it is pretty strong, so just know that about it. But it's a beautiful pink, and it's really affordable. Stroke Store Makeup, which you know I love. And lastly, oh my goodness, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, we have to talk about this, because it is so good. This is one of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in Friendship. So I just bought this a few days ago, haven't even shown it in a haul or anything, but it couldn't wait because it's so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, like the packaging, really pretty kind of like frosty, muted, something pretty sort of packaging. Smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Like, stinking amazing. It's like chocolate, chocolate cake, chocolate milk, chocolate mousse, chocolate something delicious. So good, the scent is amazing. Love this color, it's like a 90s sort of a color, like a warm, warm brown, really pretty. Lots of options, had a hard time choosing. <laughs> so really pretty colors, love this color, but this formula, it's in my top two favorite liquid lipsticks now, for sure, Ofra and this one, because it's like, it reminds me of the Ofra one in that it's more kind of like a moussier sort of texture and it doesn't set down to be completely matte and completely transfer proof. I like that about it. So if you're looking for a transfer proof liquid lipstick, this is not it. If you're looking for one that like wears like iron, this is not it. But also this isn't the kind that does the there or not there thing, the huge ridiculous line in the middle. This doesn't do that. This is moussey and comfortable, but it sets down. And once it sets down, it is very long wearing. So, which is how the Ofra ones are. So they're, I like that about them because then they don't do the line. They don't do the there or not there thing. They kind of wear off more evenly. They're just more comfortable. So, Yes, I love this. Now I want another color or two. I do have a small one from a point perk, so I at least have two colors now, but this is just an incredible formula. So if you have not been a fan of liquid lipsticks in the past, but you haven't tried this one, I would say give this a try because this may be the game changer for you because it's awesome. Ofra too. You need to try out Ofra's also because theirs are really good as well. So Ofra and this one, these are now my favorites. Ofra already was, but now this one is a close competitor. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.